Many generations passed after God kicked the first man and woman out of the garden. And the people spread out throughout the earth. But they were violent and corrupt and totally evil. This is Storytime with Josh. And in today's story, God responds. God saw the way that things were and it broke his heart. He said, These humans are so evil, I'm sorry I even made them. Because of them, I'm going to wipe out all the birds, all the animals, and all the humans. I'm going to start again. Now, the only person who followed God closely was Noah. God said to Noah, I'm going to flood the earth and wipe out all the birds, all the animals, and all the humans. Now, build a large boat according to my instructions. This is my covenant with you. Through you, I will rescue the whole world. Noah obeyed God. He built a large boat according to God's instructions. God said, It's going to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Take your wife, your sons, and your sons' wives into the boat. Take a male and female of every kind of bird and animal into the boat. And take some food into the boat. Noah obeyed God. He took his wife, his sons, and his sons' wives into the boat. He took a male and a female of every kind of animal into the boat. And he took some food into the boat. Then God closed the door of the boat. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And the water rose until it covered even the highest mountains. And God wiped out all the birds and all the animals and all the people. God only spared Noah and his family. God sent a wind and the water started to go down. The boat came to rest on a mountain. After a few months, they could see the tops of other mountains. Noah sent out a raven and it flew back and forth until the waters dried up. He also sent out a dove, but it came straight back. There was nowhere for it to land. A week later, Noah sent out the dove again. It came back that evening with a fresh leaf in its beak. A week later, Noah sent out the dove a third time, and this time it didn't return. When the ground was dry, God said, Noah, come out of the boat and bring your family, and release the animals so that they can have children and spread out and fill the earth. Noah obeyed God. He brought his family out of the boat, and he released the animals so that they could have children and spread out and fill the earth. And Noah built an altar and made a sacrifice to God. God said, I'm pleased with what you've done. I promise that never again will I wipe out all living things, even though humans knowingly do evil right from childhood. As long as the earth is around, there will still be day and night, summer and winter, planting and harvest. Now, some of you are thinking, Josh, you just skipped two chapters of Genesis. Cain and Abel's my favourite Bible story. The thing is, there are only 40 weeks until Christmas. And there are so many Bible stories that I want to tell you this year. But if I skip over a Bible story that you'd really like to hear me tell, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to come back to it. Tune in in two weeks time for another story time with Josh.